of having my number out in front, I put it in here with the x. What do you think that's going to do to it? Well, graph sine of 5x. And instead of going from negative 5 to 5 on your y's, if you go from negative 1 to 1, it's easier to see. You go from negative 1 to 1? Mm -hmm. On the y's. The x's stay in the same place. How many of you are not seeing ups and downs when you draw your graph? Chances are you're not in radian mode. Oh. Well, it's not fewer. Here you go. Now you see ups and downs. Did you get into radian mode? Yeah, I was in degree mode. Yeah, in degree mode you're not going to see ups and downs. So, but we should have it on science, scientific, right? Yeah, scientific's fine. Holy oh, shit. So if you don't see what I'm talking about, please feel free to say something because Jared or I can come and help you. Jared, is that right? Yeah, right. your window's just a little... Yeah, it's not uncommon if you see the wrong mode. The calculator's usually set for well, radius on the right when you get it. Right. But most oh, classes okay. in high school change have you moved to the green mode your y be one and to just one. stay there. Yeah, and so two, you don't five. think to move yourself out. In this class, radian yeah, mode is the one that we use most often, the, except when we get to work problems, and then degree mode's oh, coming up. Yeah, so what happened when you put in that five? Well, yeah, yeah, instead of having two ups and two downs, we now have ten. All the ups and downs got squished together. So this five here, did a horizontal shrink. Notice it still goes as high and still goes as low as it did before. But there's a lot more of them, so it's a horizontal shrink toward the y-axis by a factor of one over that number. So it shrunk it by a factor of one-fifth. In other words, where our screen came up with two ups and downs, our screen now comes up with five times as many ups and downs. Does it shrink it by one-fifth? One, an up and down only now takes a tenth of the screen instead of half a screen. Now, this is where I was telling you things are kind of different from what you think because this is a big number. You would think big numbers would expand or stretch, but inside the function it does the opposite of what you think it's going to do. So if I change that number to one-fifth, what do you think it's going to do? It's going to stretch it out a whole bunch going to actually stretch it out five times as much. Go ahead and see how many ups and downs you can see when you change it to one fifth. None. Can you even see a whole one? He can see about half of an up and down. Because one fifth, even though it's a small number between zero and one, it does the opposite because it's inside the function. The step inside the function does the opposite of what you think, so instead of shrinking like you think one fifth ought to, it expands or stretches by a factor of one over c. This is your number c, so one over one fifth means it stretches to be five times as much as you thought it should be. So we, if we say something is being stretched horizontally by a factor of five, then you would need to put a one fifth in into the function. Are you ready for the, the whole wrap-up of this? There we go.